Hey guys, greetings from Finland. If you're new to the channel, my name is Matty. Actually, in Finnish, you would say Matti Haapoja. But for all you English speakers, Matty is fine. And today, I'm here with my twin brother. We're having a catastrophe here. What's happening? Disconnected. It's gonna crash. Look, like it's coming right down, actually, around top of you. <laughs> you can cancel it, can't you? No, I can't. It's, it's disconnected. You can't do anything. Luckily, it came back. Ah, Woo, safe and sound. Woo. I thought I crashed that one. <laughs> Actually, I lied. He's not my twin brother. Uh, bonus points if you can guess who's older and by how much. Bonus points. And actually, he just started his YouTube channel too. Does a lot of photography and videography related stuff, tutorials, kind of like me. So you should definitely check him out. And there's even an exclusive Q&A that I just did with my brother. So you should go and check out his channel. I'll link it down below. Go and subscribe to him. Yeah, do it. Subscribe. Just subscribe. Just, just do it. Just click that button right here. Just like, click that right, button right there. Right there. But today we're gonna talk about that sweet, sweet bokeh. That nice shallow depth of field that you can get. It's super cinematic. I love how it just isolates your subject. It's one of my favorite techniques to do. But the question is, what's the best way to get that sweet, sweet bokeh? And I thought I'd let my brother take the first tip on how to get that sweet, sweet bokeh. Tip number one, you wanna use fast lenses. You wanna get at least 2.8 or faster. So here's the shot at 5.6, 2.8, 1.8, and 1.4. Notice the drastic difference between 5.6 and 1.4. And remember, you don't need to spend a lot of money on lenses. You can even get the Nifty 50 for about $100. The Nifty 50 is a 50mm 1.8 great lens. And you get that sweet, sweet bouquet. Number two, what you can do is just get closer to your subject. I'm not gonna go into the details of why this works, but the closer you get to your subject, the more background blur you're gonna have. Or the further away you move your background from your subject, so just bring your subject away from that background, the more blur you're gonna get. So here, for example, is a shot at f2.8, five meters away from the subject. Now we're three meters away, and now we're less than one meter away, and you can tell how much more background blur or bokeh there is when you're closer up. So that's one way to get that sweet, sweet bokeh. And then lastly, to get more of that sweet, sweet bokeh, you can just use a zoom lens. So the bigger the zoom, the more background bokeh you're gonna get. Again, I'm not gonna go into explaining why this is, just take my word for it, use a zoom lens. So here's an example of the same framing at f2.8, first at 35 mil, then we have a 70 mil, and then a 200 mil. Notice how much more background blur there is on the 200 compared to the 35 mil, even though it's the exact same framing. If you don't have a super fast lens like an f2.8 or faster, this is a great way to get some of that really nice background blur, that sweet, sweet bokeh. So there you go, three easy, easy ways to get some of that sweet, sweet bokeh, that nice background blur. And don't forget to check out my brother's channel. You should definitely go sub right now. Button, go sub right now. If you didn't do it yet, just do it. <laughs> 